in Microsoft Exchange 2010, I'm going to show you how to create a new address list. So an address list is different from a distribution group. A distribution group you create under recipient configuration distribution group. And that shows up in Outlook Web Access. When you click on the To button, you actually see here's our distribution group we have created already. An address list is different. If you click over on the left-hand side, you see all the different built-in address lists that are already created and that is a list that actually has a filter of the different type of people that can be in it such as resources like uh, the conference room or specific types of contacts so we'll go, we're going to go ahead and create one of those right now so we'll go ahead and open up exchange management console click on mailbox address list tab right click choose new address list so we'll call this one test we'll leave it in the default parent container although you can create it as a sub to one of these other ones already created. Choose next. You can put in a specific recipient type, such as some of these other ones are so, uh, users with mailboxes, resource mailboxes, uh, such as conference room type things. We'll leave it as all recipient types. We'll browse. We can choose a specific organizational unit where specific users may be, or we can just choose the root level, which we're going to do. And choose next. Now we can put in specific information that filters down or, uh, by condition. So you could choose recipients in a department. Click on specified and then type in the name of the department at this point. Or you could put in something custom if you are a programmer or know how to program that kind of information. You can put that in as well. So we're not going to put any particular conditions. We'll just click next and we'll say to go ahead and create that immediately and new. So as long as we get green, we do click finish and now we have a new address list.